It's been just over a month since the Korean government launched what's called the Individual Savings Account. It's a scheme aimed at helping customers accumulate more returns amid record low interest rates. But contrary to expectations, there's a set subscription time frame to maintain the account, which could place a burden on middle or low income households. The A to Z of ISA. Here's our Kim Min Ji. Over 1 trillion won or roughly 880 billion U.S. dollars. That's a total amount invested in a new tax exempt individual savings account, or ISA, since its launch last month. Just five weeks in, over 1.5 million people have opened the accounts, more than double the figure that signed up in the first week. The ISA manages various financial products from savings to funds and stocks under one single account. Investors can customize their ISA with their own portfolios or choose one that's already been planned out by financiers. And profits they make are subject to tax exemption. For instance, account holders that earn more than $44,000 a year can enjoy tax exemptions on profits of up to roughly $1,700. If gains exceed that figure, the tax rate stands at 9.9 percent, still far lower than the regular rate of 15.4 percent. Korea is not a fast comer, though. The UK already launched the ISA system back in 1999, and every year 15 million new accounts are opened. Japan is also two years ahead with roughly 10 percent of the population holding accounts, as opening an account has been made widely simple. The UK and Japan do not have strict eligibility criteria, and they do not have a ceiling on how much profits are subject to tax exemption. But in Korea, in order to open an account, you must be an income earner. On top of that, ISA products may not be as profitable if the account holder decides to cash out before the mandatory three-year or five-year subscription period, as doing so means the account is no longer eligible for the lower tax rate benefit. In addition, there's the burden of commissions charged by financial institutions. Although competition is intensifying among local banks and brokerages to lure customers, experts say the ISA may not live up to its goal of accumulating more wealth for everyone, in particular middle and low-income households. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.